Path Array is new for Alias 2014 and replaces Duplicate Place. Go to Transform Path Array. Path Array duplicates one or more curves, surfaces, or meshes and places the copies at equal distance along one or more curves, curves on surface, or patch edges. I'll create a stitch pattern on this seat. I'll select the sphere that I've modified into a stitch as the object to duplicate and accept. Now select the target curve. I'll select this curve on surface with chain select checked. The duplicates are placed along the target curves by their pivot point. In the path array control window, I can specify the spacing between duplicates or the number of duplicates and modify the start and end point. These options are also available in the workspace. Drag the cube to change the spacing and the arrow to change the start or end. Click on spacing to toggle to number and modify by clicking the arrows. Checking range fit ensures that duplicates fit the target curve from start to end. This option may affect the spacing. With orient normals unchecked, the duplicates will have the same orientation as the original. Checking orient normals will align each duplicate's local z-axis normal to the target curve or surface if you've used an edge or curve on surface. Back in the control window, there are sliders for position and rotation. I'll adjust the rotation to lay the stitch down on the surface. In another path array example, I've created this string of LEDs for a headlamp. With construction history on, it's easy to make adjustments to the array with query edit. And, the form of the array can be changed by modifying the target curve. Or in this case, the surface that contains the curve on surface that I used. Path Array is a quick and easy way to deliver multiple proposals. For more information on Path Array, see Alias Help.